Hi, my name is Bertie Proof and I'm one of a team of scientists working here at Eutrope University. We all know that fruit is an essential part of a well-balanced diet. Apples and pears are excellent sources of vitamins and fibre that keep us healthy. But there's another side of the coin. Farmers use a variety of pesticides to protect their fruit against pest insects and ultimately those chemicals end up in our environment like our waters, our streams, our creeks. And not only is this where our drinking water is coming from, it's also home to a bunch of animals like fish and frogs. Worldwide, about one in three species of amphibian is threatened with extinction and water pollution is an important contributing factor. For example, this frog and his relatives live in a small creek in southern Australia. He struggles to survive. You can change the life of this frog and thousands like him and we can tell you how. It is really important that we test these pesticides not just for general toxicity but also for the more subtle effects on development and reproduction which may not kill wildlife but may cause diseases. We'd like to test a common insecticide which is widely used in Australia, the US and developing countries which has never been tested for hormone disruption before. We will use a state-of-the-art and very sensitive test developed by our collaborators in France. It uses frogs that are engineered to glow when they are exposed to hormone disrupting chemicals. You basically scan frogs exposed to different concentrations of the pesticide and the more the frogs glow, the more their hormone balance is disrupted by the chemical. The best possible outcome would be that this insecticide doesn't do anything at all. But if it does, then these experiments will provide us with good solid evidence that we can then take to the policy makers and say, look, you really got to do something about this. We need to find sustainable alternatives for the farmers to protect their crops. We really appreciate your help in making this happen. We cannot do this without you. Your generous help will help give a voice to these frogs and to the environment in which they live in. Thank you so much. <laughs>